Welcome to our fourth pre-instructional video. In this video, we're going to explore a strategy on how to use mental math to subtract. This is really important to know how to do because you want to be able to check your work when you're working in subtraction. As you go along into fourth grade and later on into third grade, you'll be encountering more complex problems. Using a strategy like the one that's going to be presented in this video can help you check your work and make sure that you're on the right track towards your answer. Okay, so here's our lesson today. We have mental math to subtract. Our learning target is make an easier problem to solve. So let's say you see a store sign describing a sale, and the sign says that $17 will be taken off the original price of the item. Let's say it's a shirt. You want to buy the shirt that was originally $63. That's an expensive shirt. How can you find the sale price using mental math? Well, like any problem that you're going to solve in my class, I'd like you to write it down. Even though it's mental math, let's write it down here. So we have a shirt that cost $63 originally, and they're going to sell it to us by taking off $17. We want to know how much will we actually pay for this shirt? Well, this is kind of hard to do in our heads, so what we're going to do is we're going to change both numbers a little bit. And here's how we're going to do that. All right, so we have 63 minus 17. What I want to do is I want to make these numbers easier to use. Um, so that means a number that ends in 0. So I'm going to choose 17, and we're going to make it a number that ends in 0 that's really easy to use. But that would be 20. 20 is really close by. All you have to do is add 3 to it. And that's going to turn that into 20. Now I want to do the same thing to 63. So I'm going to add 3 to that one as well so that the distance between these two numbers stays the same. So now this becomes 66 minus 20. Well, 66 minus 20 is a lot easier to do. 6 minus 0 is 6, and then we can do our tens. 6 minus 2 is 4. All right, now I'm going to show you what that looks like on a number line. So here's a number line. They're really easy to make. Uh, I'm going to put my starting number, which is 63 and my ending number, 17. It really doesn't matter how I think about this. All I'm trying to figure out is the difference between these two numbers. So again, what this looks like on the number line is I'm changing 17 into 20. So, get a different pen here. We go 1, 2, 3. Now we're at 20. Well, the distance has changed now. The distance has gotten shorter by 3 between 63 and 20. So I've got to keep the distance between them the same. So what that means is I have to make 63 go positive three spaces. One, two, three. So now it's at 66. The distance has been restored, and we have our total difference of 46 in between. So this distance is 46. So is our original distance of 46. Okay, now that you've seen that example, I'm going to give you another example to do, and this will be your exit task for the video. So, let's check out this problem here. Let's say we have 58 minus, oh, let's say 33. All right, here's your exit task problem. You get to choose between three options. We'll call them A, B, and C. So what I want you to do is I want you to choose the correct way to change this problem to an easier problem. So is it going to be A, which would be 60 minus 30? Would it be B, 60 less 35, or would it be C, which would be 50 minus 30? 